Hi guys, welcome back to Red Dog Gaming, where today we are going over one of the brand new unit rosters again for RTR Imperium Serectum. And today we are looking at Kyrene, the nation in open revolt in the Ptolemies, in a successor war with Magus. Magus, I don't know how you say it, but Magus, I think I'm going to say from now on, trying to take the throne of the Ptolemaic kingdom so a very hard start if you are going to start as these guys so you need to know these units inside out because you're going to be using them uh, to try and fight off the much stronger ptolemies so without further ado guys let's get into the battle and we'll also have a sneak preview of our next nation i don't want to play as pontus of course right on to the battlefield guys here we are guys back on the battlefield with the majestic Kyrenian troops. Kyrian? Kyrenian? <laughs> Which way around it is, I am not exactly sure. Uh, but we're going to go through these units once again. And a quick note on that, guys. Some of my other videos, the, uh, the unit stats were not fully updated. Um, so you can have a look at the new unit stats in the mod, which is down in the description down below, guys. So go and check that out. But first things first, we're going to start with the standard Theroperoi, your early game unit that you're going to be using. 13 morale, 35 defense, um, and two Javis to throw with 14 missile attack. As we've seen them many times before, um, they are a solid mid-tier unit. You're going to be using these guys a lot, especially with those Javis that they're going to be throwing into the enemy. They're going to do some damage, especially early game, guys. So use these guys early game, pretty decent unit. Um, but of course we have the Kyrian Hoplites, which are actually, as a Hoplite unit goes, very strong. That 38 defense, I believe, is three more than most other Hoplite units. Uh, 15 morale, 13 melee attack. So the morale is okay. It's, it's pretty good. Um, melee attack of 13 is okay as well. But that 38 defense means they're a bit stronger than a lot of the other Hoplite units that you're going to be seeing. And again, look at these guys. They look stunning once again. I know I'm going to say this a lot about these units, guys. But they look really good. And in fact, these guys have plumes and capes. But they're not elite. No, what's going on? What's going on? But anyway, guys, they look fantastic. Some new designs on the shields you can see there. There's Kyrene uh, Sigil. We've got uh, the Sea Snakes, the Serpents, and Poseidon's Trident. Um, lots of cool different designs on those shields. Very nice indeed. Looking great. But a good Hoplite unit. A really good one. So you're going to have to balance between these two. Obviously, these guys are a little bit stronger in the melee. But they don't get those javis to throw like the Theroperoi do. So you've got to kind of balance that out and see which one you want to go for. Do you want to go for the assault with the javis? Or do you want to go a little bit more defensive and just fight it out in melee? So really good uh, couple of units early game there. And you're going to need those guys because, as I said, Kyrene is very, 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 very hard. Because you start at war with the Ptolemies and you're very small compared to the Ptolemies who are one of the strongest starting nations in the game. So let's move on to some Phalangites, guys. And we have Libyan Phalangites here. And you can see, represented by the different ethnicities, um, that these guys are the Libyans, the local Phalangites. Um, from the area, and they're pretty good, guys, as a mid-tier phalangite unit. 36 defense, good defense again, 15 morale, solid, and 19 melee attack, which is really good. It's a really good unit, um, and I love the look of these guys again, they're looking very nice. Those purple shields, very cool indeed. A lot of purple uh, represented with Kyrene all the way through the roster, so looking really cool Indeed, very nice. The different uh, forms of helmets again, looking cool. Uh, and the different designs on every single unit once again. So let's come on to the Chlorochoi Phalangites. These are sort of your um, mid-tier as well. They're not quite as good as the Libyan Phalangites, which is very interesting, guys, as you can see. They have the same amount of defense and morale. But that melee attack of one less, but they do have better alt attack. But 
The thing with this, guys, you never want your Phalangites to enter their alt attack mode, of course. You want to keep them in Phalanx for as long, so they're not quite as good as those Libyan boyos, these Kalorotroi Phalangites. But again, a solid mid-tier Phalangite unit, and they'll do the business when you need them to. They'll keep in the fight for pretty long. Um, obviously, watch out for those morale shocks. That's a great, uh, great shield, that, isn't it? That's fantastic. Another one of those there. Looking very nice indeed. They look really cool, as do all the new units, guys, as we see. But again, these mid-tier Phalangite units, you want to use them as much as possible. As much as possible. These guys, the Karachoi, do have better defense skill and less armor, so they'll die to missiles more, but in melee, slightly less. So that is the difference you've got there, but they're going to do less damage in melee as well. So you want to balance that out. I probably would go for the Libyans over the uh, Clorotroy just because of that extra melee attack. And 19 melee attacks, very decent for a Phalangite unit. Now guys, let's look at our elite boys. Look at these, the Chironian. Oh, there we are. Chironian, there we are. That's how we say it. Agama. Oh. Like all the Agama units, they look mean, they look ready to fight, they look fantastic. And these these helms are huge! Huge helms! That almost looks like some sort of Dark Souls helm there, um, that you would find in Dark Souls. <laughs> Massive on the top. How big is your brain, sir? How big is your brain? It must be huge. It must be huge to wear such a helm. But anyway, <laughs> enough messing around. Um... These guys are fantastic. And they look the business as well, don't they? They're nice blues and purple coming in. I don't know, what would you call that? Uh, dark blue, I, I guess. Light blue and dark blue. Nice blues, but the shields again. I think the shields are some of my favorite things in this mod. Just looking fantastic. Then the little details, once again, look at that on the Linothorax. And the little tassels everywhere. The detail that has gone into these units, I know I say it every time. Is just absolutely obscene. It's it's crazy. Just the little details on the differences uh, between every single person in the unit. Look at them all. They look fantastic. And you can tell these guys are elite. They've got the capes. They've got the plumes. Looking very nice indeed. But let's talk about their stats then. 45 defense. Crazy amount of defense. Very, very good amount of defense. But you're going to wait and have to wait for the reforms for these guys to come through. 21 morale, fantastic morale, 20 melee attack, unbelievably good, really good, 14 alt attack, which is great for a phalanx unit, but again, try not to get these guys into alt attack, In the, between their armor and shield, they've got 15 defense against missiles, so they're not going to die to that first wave of javis straight away, which is awesome, as well as that 30, yes, 30 defense skill, guys, that is fantastic, 30 defense skill. Very, very, very strong. So these guys are going to be immense in melee. And you will you want to use these guys as much as you can when you get the chance. They just look amazing as well, don't they? Fantastic. Fantastic unit. Very good. Now let's move on to your non-phalanx unit that's elite. And I think these guys look even better, honestly, than the Agama. They just look mean. They look great. They just look ready to fight. They've all got these huge plumes, nearly all of them, on their uh, on their helms. Looking very cool indeed. And they just look imposing and intimidating. Bright blue, again, coming through the unit. Very nice to see, guys. Very nice to see. But again, really, really solid stats. 42 defense. Fantastic. 18 morale. Very good. And a melee attack of 14. Although they're spearmen, these are going to be your flanking units, guys. These are going to be the ones that take you around the flanks of the enemy phalanx as your phalanx fights them head on uh, and gets ready to smash them. We've got some of these uh, these uh, facial masks again as well, looking brilliant. I really do like those designs. They look very cool. I bet they were pretty uncomfortable to wear, though. Imagine wearing one of those for, through a whole battle. Well, I guess you wouldn't, you wouldn't get your face covered in blood, so <laughs> that's one thing. Um, or cut, maybe. 
potentially, depending on the situation. But again, the shield's looking superb. But this unit, again, it's got 14 defense against missiles. So they're going to do well against missiles. And 28 defense skill, again, very, very strong defense skill, guys. Charge of 13 isn't great, but it's not too bad for a heavy infantry sort of unit. Um, the, the infantry really doesn't have good charge, guys, as you can see. 13 for the Hoplites. Like, infantry just in general doesn't really have a great charge compared to, say, cavalry. Um, but, yeah, they're looking great. They are looking great. Fantastic to see. Very good stats. Great flanking unit. And you're going to want to use those guys as much as possible. Right. Let's move on to the missile troops. And as Kyrene, you have a, a deluge. You have loads of missile troops, guys. So uh, they're going to be really important to go through these guys to make sure you know what you're getting yourself in for. Of course, we've gone through the Greek Slingers before. Your worst unit, 140 missile range, which is okay. 32 missiles of 7 missile attack, but they will rout whenever they come near the enemy. And the blues and purples once again shining through with these guys. The purple racing stripes, the blue racing stripes, looking like they just came off the farm, of course. Because they are pretty much farmers, they are your worst unit available. And we have Keanu Reeves over here as part of the unit. So they will, will probably do a bit better uh, than they would normally. Uh, but yes, <laughs> they are a, uh, they are a uh, pretty trash unit. But they're, they're your lowest form of unit. But then you have Libyan Slingers as well. And uh, these guys are even worse than your Greek Slingers. So <laughs> not quite your lowest form of unit. The Libyan Slingers, and you can see the different ethnicities represented between the Greek Slingers and the Libyan Slingers, which is fantastic to see. Very nice. But these guys are even worse. Less morale. Same amount of missile attack, but just less morale. Two morale, guys. They have more melee attack, but <laughs> I don't think you're going to want these guys in melee. But yeah, two morale is pretty much horrendous. <laughs> it is not good. So these guys... Uh, will rout if they see an enemy. Never mind if they uh, the enemy comes close. So uh, don't get these guys anywhere near the enemy. But as I've said in every video, missile troops, guys, as in long-range missile troops, not javelins, always have the potential of doing a lot of damage if they're in the right position and used correctly. That seven missile attack of 32 ammunition, that's 32 ammunition for 80 guys doing seven missile attack. Someone do the math. That's a lot of damage that they can do. So they always still, no matter how trash they are, will do some damage in a battle. So how we, uh, here we have the Greek archers, guys. Again, looking like they've just come off the farm. This guy's got a uh, turquoise to purple racing stripe. I like that very much indeed. All the different hats on show once again. But they have literally just been dragged off their farms to fight. Uh, nine defense. Four morale. Uh, again, pretty bad. But 10 missile attack this time with 30 ammo and 130 range. So, fine. These Greek archers, if you've watched my Sparta campaign, guys, they are fine. They will do a job. They are fine. They won't be too bad. They, they'll do perfect. You just need to make sure you've got a good general in there so they don't route straight away. Uh, and make sure that you don't get them into melee because then they will definitely route pretty quickly. So on to the Akontistai, guys. So we have the Libyan Skirmishers and the Akontistai as your Javi options, your low-tier Javi options. Again, the purples, very nice through these guys, as we can see. 12 defense, 6 morale, and 9 missile attack with 7 Javis. So they will do fine, guys. They will do fine. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of Javelin units, but in this mod, Javelin units are good. They do decent damage. Uh, a lot better than vanilla. So you might want to be recruiting these guys early on to throw their javis into the enemy to soften them up before you get into the fight. Of course, you don't want these guys in the fight with that 6 morale and 6 melee attack and only 12 defense. Of which, none. Only one armor against arrows. No shield. So they will die to the missiles very quickly. So keep them out of that missile fire. Then again, we have the Libyan skirmishers. Now these guys... As a reverse of the Slingers are better than the Akontistai, the Greeks. 9 morale, which is actually really decent for a Javi unit. 14 defense, which is okay. Mostly defense skills, so they will die to missiles once again. 
Um, but a melee attack of 8, which is fine. Again, don't get them into melee. But missile attack of 11, guys. So quite a bit better than the Greek Akontistai. So 11 missile attacks, pretty decent with 7 ammo. They're going to do a decent job. So if you've got the option between these two, make sure you take the Libyan Skirmishers. But if you do have the Greek Peltas as an option, here they are. We can see them in all their glory with a few different uh, forms of shield here, as we can see. Looking very nice indeed. Really, actually, for a unit without armor, they actually look pretty cool. Um, quite liking the look of these guys with their helms and their pretty uh, nice shield. You can see the texture on this looks like cowhide slash leather, which it will be. Um, covering that most likely wooden, yeah, wooden shield that these guys have. Um, very, very cool. Very cool. I love that effect. That is a tiny little detail that I hadn't noticed up until now. And this one's even got damage on it as well. That, that, uh, cowhide effect. That's pretty cool. Same here. Really, really cool. I've not noticed that one up to now, so awesome. Obviously, the officers look amazing in each, in each unit. But these guys, 23 defense. Pretty good. Pretty good. Only, only five of which is against uh, arrows and uh, javis, though, guys. So, again, do not get these guys into, um, into missile fire if you can help it. Defense skill of 18 is not too bad. Morale of 9. They've got the same missile attack as the uh, Libyans, uh, but a bit better melee attack, I believe. Yeah, quite a bit better melee attack. Um, and a lot better defense. So these guys are just an upgraded version of the Libyans pretty much with more armor and a bit more melee attack. But again, that 9 morale, not great. So don't get them into melee if you can help it. If it's absolutely desperate, then you're going to have to. Uh, but if you can help it, get these guys away from melee. But then we have something I'm really excited to show you guys. These Ephebic, Ephebic archers, I believe. Looking awesome. They've got the hoplite armor on with the linothorax and everything. But they like wearing their little hats uh, rather than uh, helms. That's okay. They've got to protect themselves from the sun somehow out here in, uh, in the uh, Libyan desert. They've got to protect their sun themselves from the sun, don't they? So, 24 defense. Really good for an archer unit. Five armor as well, so they won't die to missiles too quickly. But again, it's not huge. But that morale of 10, so much better than your Greek archers, as we can see, guys. Double the melee attack of them. And 13 missile attack with 30 ammo and 140 missile range. So these guys, they're not quite Cretans or Neo-Cretan archers, but they're pretty close. It's just the range that's slightly less than the Cretans for them. I believe the Cretans are 160. I could be wrong. Or is that the Sogdians, the Persians for the uh, Seleucids? But I can't, I can't quite remember. But these guys are really good. Really good. So when you get the reforms and get access to these guys, get them uh, trained as your archers as soon as possible. And they'll do a lot more damage and last a lot longer than the Greek archers. So a great unit there. Now, guys, let's have a look. At our cavalry. So let's start with the Prodromoi. Here they are. Looking very nice indeed. Very cool looking unit. For such a low tier unit. And as we've seen them before guys. They are pretty much your worst tier of cavalry. Well not pretty much. They are your worst tier of cavalry. They're your missile cav. You can use these guys early game to do some damage. I mean that 9 missile attack with 7, uh, seven uh, javis is not too bad. Uh, but again... I'm not a huge fan of uh, Javi units in general, but that is just my personal preference. But these guys will do damage in numbers. Again, there's 60 of them. 60 doing 9 damage for 7 attacks will do quite a lot of damage, guys. Definitely do quite a lot of damage. Um, but again, no melee for these guys. And if you have to charge them in, run them out straight away because... As you can see, they're not even in formation. They don't even form a formation. They're in a regular formation, which is so much worse for charges. Uh, and they have no defense, very little morale, and not much attack. So, <laughs> do not use these guys in melee. Then we have our Zistaforoi, our early game heavy cavalry. And again, they're fine. They are fine. They're a decent mid-tier unit. 
and they look pretty good. They look really good, in fact. I like these uh, those black uh, shoulder pads there, looking very cool. With a few of them with the capes and the cool helmets as well, looking very nice indeed. I love the purple on these two guys, these three guys, looking very cool. Some big plumage going on for some of them. Some of them think they're elites with the big plumage, but they're not quite elites. But they're a good early game unit, guys. 23 defense. Decent. Decent defense for an early game unit. 34 charge. Again, that's decent. 15 morale, so they'll last for quite a while. And 12 melee attack. Only 8 armor against Javis and uh, missiles, guys. So try to keep these guys out of arrow fire. Because as we've seen, the Greek archers with their 10 missile attack will pierce through this armor, guys, um, especially after a few volleys. So keep these guys out of missile fire, but charge them in, get them out. Charge them in, get them out. Use that 34 charge uh, to your benefit the whole time. They're going to do really well indeed. Right, on to our elite cavalry, guys. The Triacatoi. The Triacatoi. And again, oh, look at these guys. I love that. They've got very oversized helms again. Massive helms for bulbous brains. <laughs> Do you have a bulbous brain? Come to MassiveHelms.com. Anyway, very big helms for these guys. Um, which look really cool. I, I like them. They look really cool. Really cool. They just look like they can't see out of them. But they can. They can. I promise. But 18 morale, guys. Really solid morale. They look awesome as well. They've all, nearly all got these uh, these bronze or iron breastplates on. Looking very cool. Um, not quite got the plumage on these guys, but we do have the capes coming through. And a lot of yellow on these guys, which we've seen a lot with uh, the elite units. A lot of them seem to have the yellow and the purple capes. But 18 morale, 15 melee attack is fantastic. Really good for a cavalry unit. Really, really good promise you on that that is really good 13 alt attack which is fine as well that's pretty good for an alt attack but again you don't really want to get them into alt attack if they've got a better melee attack with their primary weapon which is this huge lance that they love to lance the enemy with 27 defense which is pretty compar comparable to the hetairoi the companion cavalry of a lot of the other greeks um which 9 is armor, 18 defense skill, and a 43 charge, which is massive for a non-cataphract unit, guys. That is huge for a non-cataphract unit. That is really, really good. Really good. I really, really like that. So these guys are going to be so strong on the charge. So even though they have that really good melee attack... Get them on the charge, get them out, get them using that 43 charge as much as possible. And a similar note to the Zistaphori guys. Zistaphori guys? Zistaphori guys. Zistaphori guys. There we are. I can speak eventually. Um, uh, first time in my life. Uh, but yeah, the armor of nine. Um, again, they're going to fall to uh, missile fire so keep them away from the missile fire the thing you've got to remember with cavalry guys whenever you're using them their hitbox is huge 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 do i need to say it again compared to infantry um so missiles will hit these guys so much more often than it will infantry if the infantry were in spread out formation, say. And also, when you charge them in, they're going to take a lot more damage than, say, a charging infantry. Because those hitboxes are so big. Um, they can be surrounded by a lot more units than one single infantry unit can be. So, uh, sorry, individual, like, uh, soldiers than uh, one individual soldier of an infantry can be. So they'll take a lot more damage. That's why you've got to charge them in and get them out. So they don't, don't take a huge amount of damage stuck in the melee. Uh, but fantastic unit. Really good. 43 charge for those boys. And then finally, we have the Karenian General's Bodyguard. Very nice looking unit. Mean looking unit indeed. Like we've seen with all these Greek, uni uh, Greek generals. Looking very cool. With the plumage uh, and the leopard skins. I believe they're leopards anyway. I would think they were leopards. Uh, leopard skins on the uh, horses. I don't know. They might be not be leopards, but uh, they look like leopard skins anyway. 34 defense. Really good. 
15 of Witch's armor, guys. So these guys are not going to be dying to missile fire very quickly. 57 charge. Very nice indeed. 21 morale. 16 melee attack. And 14 alt attack. Fantastic bodyguard. But it's your general's bodyguard, so it should be. And then finally, your secret weapon. The Libyan chariots, guys, with their cool hell hairstyles. <laughs> I say cool. Uh, and like uh, war paint on the side of their heads, which is pretty cool. Uh, but these guys, they're not scythe chariots. They're nowhere near as good as scythe chariots, I would say, guys. Uh, but they are a chariot unit. So they do frighten nearby enemy. The one problem you have is they've only got 12 defense and only 4 hit points. So they've only got 48 defense in total, really. Which, for a chariot unit, similar, similar uh, concept to the horses... Have a much bigger, uh, a much bigger hitbox than the horses say. So these guys actually, if you keep them sustained in fighting, will die very quickly. Will die very quickly. So you want to use these guys when morale shocks happen. Use them to charge the back of the enemy to create their own morale shock. Or if their generals just died, for example, charge these guys in and hopefully they will rout the enemy. 20 morale, though, is fantastic. These guys are not going to be going berserk um, or uh, running away very quickly. 17 melee attack is really decent as well. And, of course, they've got their bows and arrows on the back. But that's not what they're here for, is it, guys? Anyway, I hope you liked that, guys. I hope you liked that rundown of the, um, of the faction and all the units. Let's press play. If you don't want to watch... Uh, any of this battle, that's absolutely fine. You can find... Um, let's come over here. Uh, you can find all the chapters down below. So you can see uh, exactly what, uh, what's what been going on and when the battle ends and all that stuff. But if you're going to leave us now, guys, giving a like and subscribe would be really appreciated. Really helps the channel out. So thank you very much for everyone who's watched up to this point. And we will continue with a final battle against the Pontics, who we're going to be revealing next. So that should be fun. They've got their own chariots, guys. Which is never fun to face. And we're going to keep our cavalry behind that hill. And hope that they can uh, see, come down towards our infantry. And then we'll swoop in with our cavalry from behind. Are they coming forward with one unit to fight us? The Caucasian hillmen. Make sure you guys are on fire at will. And all you guys should be on fire at will as well. Keep you off that. You can see we have a bit more range with these uh, aphabic archers. Okay. Looks like a charge is coming in. What's this? Oh no, it's the royal bodyguards. Get your javi gone. Go, go, go. <laughs> Otherwise you dared the Rapparoi. Oh, I don't think they fired any of their jabbies there. They're going to take some damage here, boys. They're going to take some damage. Who's this? Pontic Guards. Oh, we've not seen these boys before. And they're coming straight into the Phalanx. Going against the Libyan Phalangites. Look at that Phalanx formation, though. It's doing well. And then another General's Bodyguard coming in. The Theroparoi are just taking an absolute battering here. Oh, the Theroparoi are gone. Shocking. Come on, boys. I'm going to have to run these Hypastis over here. Go kill that royal bodyguard. Can they go? Oh, they're going after my cavalry. I didn't even notice this. <laughs> my Zista 4 are deaded. Do you know what we're going to do? Get in there. Get the chariots charging. It's a big cavalry battle. Oh. And as chariots go. We know chariots do really well against. Uh... Oh now they've brought their chariots in. It's not what we want to do. We want to see. Get them bogged down. That's the only thing we can do. Here are you. Right. Get there. And then we'll crush this Pontic Guard unit. Yep. Yeah. Close that door, boys. Close that door. I think this is the one we lose, you know. Who are you? Caucasian Hillman. There should be no problem with you. 
now out and then we'll charge in again. Alright, close the door. Come through. Hi, Pastis. Come on, let's go. You, Javis, let's get you here. Oh, I thought you couldn't go over that. I thought that was a lake, honestly. Who's this? Asian Royal Bodyguards. Get the Peltas in there. Let's get the Ephabic archers up on this hill. Ah, these guys keep coming back, bro. Now get these guys in there. The Thorakitai as well. They're a good unit. Ah, oh, we've fully just been squished this side. That side. That left flank has been ruined, bro. Oh, we, 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 this is the one we die, guys. This is the one we die. Come on, fire. Quick. Well, that's, that's not working, is it? I think the Pontics have uh, had their say today, boys. If we, unless we can get our cavalry across really quickly. Looks like we destroyed the Thorakitai. They've got still got two units of uh, Phalangites ready. So I think, yeah, we're done for. We're done for, guys. We're done for. Absolutely done for. You get the imitation legionaries. But you can have a sneak preview of some of these strong uh, Pontic forces right now. Get in there. Get the chariots and that. Uh, well, uh, get there. Or get there. Kill those scythe chariots. See, these Peltas are lasting quite a while in this fight. Come on, boys. I want you to get marching through. Get going, boys. I want you to squish them to death. Squish them all. Fantastic. It's better. Now that cavalry's coming. Where are you boys? A shaken. Kill these Greek slingers. Yeah, broken. I thought so. Well, I don't think we win this. Do you guys? Speed that up a little bit. These guys are a little bit slow. Okay, the Prodromai are going for the Pontic Scythe Chariots. It's probably not the greatest of options. <laughs> but we've got to counter them somehow. Come on, boys. Oh, we broke straight through the Pontic Guards. Let's go. And then we got Freedmen Phalangites. Oh, the Javis into the back of the Libyan Phalangites is never good. It's never good. Oh, we're breaking this Pontic Scythe Chariot with our own chariots. That's what I like to see, boys. Right, straight into the back of those. You might rescue this, Chariots. You might rescue this. Uh, where am I? Guys. Uh, where are we? Are we here? Kill those Asian light spearmen. Oh, the shaken seat. The fear factor is large. Oh, that was a great charge. Uh, now out. Get these Peltas in the fight. Okay, maybe the wrong choice there to charge those guys in. Uh, imitation legionaries are broken. So who do we have? We've got the Freedman Phalangites. Um... Where's my Ephabic archers? Oh, they're over here. I don't know why they're over here. Kill the Greek Hoplites. Who are you? I'm going to turn the uh, banners back on, guys, so I can see what's going on. There we are. That's better. Um, not, not, not ideal doing that. Oh, I've made so many errors in this, uh, in this battle. Get there, boys. Go get them. Kill them. Gonna have to use our cavalry here. Wait, what? What is going on here? Why? Why are you like this? Why do you be like this? Get through them. 
Get them. They've got so many stragglers everywhere. We might win. It's pretty close, though. I'm going to have to box these guys in if we can. You guys come back. Uh, I think the main thing is that those Hoplite units. You guys halt. Come through, boys. Come through. Now, what do we have down here? I mean... <sighs> they're so far away. Oh, we broke those boys. Which is fantastic. Go kill them. Go kill them. Wait. Face these guys. Imitation legionaries that have come back. Get your phalanx down, boys. This is a mess down here. Absolute mess. That's a mess of a phalanx, boys. But we shall push through them and kill them. Yeah, we need to make sure these guys run away. So we'll get you guys fighting them. You guys imitation legionaries. And then we'll uh, see what happens with this. Let's just do a full frontal charge. Doesn't really matter. Just doing it for the sake of it. Oh, wait. Wait, they started routing. Oh, because they're exhausted. I mean, they are pretty tired, to be fair. Our cavalry is very tired as well. Been running around the battlefield for ages. Looks like the only person left is this Chalka Speedes. Well, you're not going to... Yeah, you're just going to keep routing, aren't you? Let's speed it up. Speed it up. Well, we did win somehow. Not really sure how. These guys. Just. Just make you there. Just get off the battlefield. So it makes the Chalka Speeders come back. Right, boys. Here it is. The final countdown. The final countdown. Fantastic. Go. How is the one unit that's come back? Get there. You should be better than them. Yep. Where are they going? <laughs> Just stand and fight, bro. You engage them. You get there. Time to squish! Go, go, go. Yeah, there we are. Fantastic. Ah, fantastic. Very, very close, guys. Very close indeed. Very, very close. Whew. But the Clarocho did great. 227. The Archers again, really good. The Chariots, 190. Trea Katoi. 163, pretty good. Bodyguard, 155. Some really nice, really nice results there. Agama, 78. Good. Well then, guys. Well, I think that's going to be it for today. So I hope you enjoyed that uh, showcase of the new units for Kyrene. Um, let me know whether you did. With a like and subscribe, that would be amazing. So thank you very much for watching, guys. It's been a pleasure, as always. And I'll see you again on the next video.